take a couple of minutes here and show you a system that we've set up with the Dewey Mister and kind of run you through how I've set this up. I'm, I'm using reverse osmosis water because uh, our system takes such a small amount of water that I'm able to use a filter that makes about 50 gallons a day. We actually only use about 10 gallons a week in our system. Uh, I, I have a pump set up over here in the corner uh, that I pull the uh, reverse osmosis water out. Then I run it through my injectors and through here. Now these injectors are about $300 a piece and in one container I have uh, uh, the 8, 12, and 32 fertilizer with the minor elements. In the other container, I have 1500 uh, calcium nitrate. Here I have a valve that I get at Home Depot for about $10. And up in this container here, I have a float similar to this. And this float, you can allow it to, to uh, different levels in your container. It's a mercury switch, and you can get them online for about $15. And the reason you have to use a method like this is because you have to have a flow rate fast enough through your injectors that they'll actually pick up the fertilizer. So from there, I go up into here. This container fills up and then shuts off. And it gravity feeds across. And in these buckets, I have a I have a filter. I have a um, a float switch, and that keeps these containers at a constant level. And uh, it, it, uh, they're all hooked together. Runs down through here. We use the Dewey Mister or aeroponics aeration. At this point, I'm really getting a tremendous growth rate. You can see here uh, that, that I'm getting some pretty good sized tomatoes here. This actually has, I haven't been operating too long. Now, I run this operation about I, after about uh, the first initial uh, fertilizing, I, uh, I turn the injectors off. And by turning them off, all I'm doing is adding clear water for the next few days. And it automatically adds the water so that I don't have to worry about it. It's kind of a hands operation. In about 10 days, I use a uh, I use a uh, shop vacuum cleaner. I like to use a shop vacuum cleaner. I turn everything off so the water can't come in here. I like to let it drink it down a little bit so that I'm not throwing away too much water. So after I shut the water off, I let the plants drink the thing down to a little bit lower level. Then I take my shop vac and I pump the water out with my shop back. And by doing that, I clean up any little bit of a sediment that's in there so my containers stay real clean. Now I like to, uh, I like to use a little bit of a, uh, a uh, foyer spray. And I use uh, Epsom salts, which is uh, magnesium and uh, I, it, it works best going through the leaves. So this is a, a, a container that I've put an automotive fan on. I put six misters in the bottom of this, and I, then when I turn this on, it makes a real fine mist. And the foliar spray and the fertilizer, this gives you a chance to, to fertilize the foliage, which seems to work really well. And I try to run that about every three days. And the system at this point, we this is fairly new to us and all of you folks. 
But at this time, it looks like this thing is really going to be impressive. Thank you.